Buongiorno, buongiorno a tutti. We are in Torino. Welcome to everybody. I'm Roberto Bada from Pocchi. I'm opening uh, the future seminar. This is a uh, leadership of this uh, the digital seminar for the first time. It used to be very physical, but it is these are the times where we are digital. So welcome. I have seen from the list that you are from uh, from all over, actually from from Russia to, to the United States, and uh, so you have a double welcome. Uh, this is quite uh, an interesting story. There's a density in what we are going to tell you. Um, the way it works is uh, it will be a 40 minutes uh, seminar with uh, Fulvio, with, uh, with Fulvio Piccinino, who is the guru of uh, futurism, uh, the futurism mythology. And, uh, and then we'll have uh, a few couple, of course, on the poly digital. And uh, it will be fun. Uh, I'm going to learn from Koki, so you, you probably know Koki, today you are our guest. Koki is not only your probably favorite producer, uh, because you know, uh, but it's also the, uh, the small winery, very dynamic, that uh, more than any of you know, we started with the research. Uh, and uh, the willing to come back with uh, the future mythology. The future is mythology, in spite of the name, is going, is watching back to the past. Actually, we are talking about the Italian mythology from 1909 to 1914. Who you will tell you the story? Um, yes, it's the past, but there's a, such a a projection of what we did in the past to, to our uh, today's uh, uh, style. Koch uh, is very keen in this. Uh, we, we have been uh, uh, even investing uh, on, uh, on the research and even publishing a book, actually. We, we have uh, the famous yellow book, we'll talk about this later, published by Koch. And uh, but, uh, Going uh, shortly to, to the next step, I'd like to introduce Fulvio. Hi, Fulvio. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Actually, we have the mask. Yes, we have the mask here. So we, we keep the distance. And we have uh, yeah. this for, for the hands. These are the days. Uh, so, uh, we'd like also to bring a little happiness, maybe, because the future of mythology is a kind of uh, a uh, happy way to use yes. optimism. Optimism. Yes, and, absolutely. Uh, but nevertheless, it's also a really cultural and precise. So everything uh, looks nice and simpatico, but actually it will have uh, such a deep root uh, in our Italian culture. Yeah, it, it, takes, uh, it takes 10 years of uh, deep research to find out all the documents, uh, all, uh, all the things that concerning the futurist mythology. So, you, you need to know that uh, we have been doing around the world uh, at least a 60 or 70 seminars. Uh -huh. And uh, so we have been meeting many of you. Uh, and uh, yes, in London, in London, uh, Tales of the Cocktails, New Orleans, Paris, uh, Kiev, uh, etc. Et so uh, we are spread around the world of futurism. Uh, but today it's good to refresh this and, and welcome uh, to, to the new camera. Uh, Fulvio, yes. you can start with the story Perfect. and then we'll... Uh... Yes. Okay. Microphone and I need the slides, please. And we can start with the history that it's, it's very interesting because is. Uh, very, very Italian history. Um, so <laughs> the Futurist mythology started uh, in uh, 1921 and last until 1933. But uh, the dawn on Futurist is absolutely before because the normally we talk about the Polybibite is the second Futurism. So the dawn of Futurism, when start the Futurism? The Futurism started in February 1909 when Marinetti published the Manifesto on Le Figaro and Paris. 
uh, it's very important because he brought the rules that we have the same rules for the futurist mixology. And if you, if you, if you are in Italian, but if you want, you can, uh, you can read on the coffee uh, internet site. The future is uh, make a revolution, a deep revolution of Italian culture, and not only because they go to Russia, they go to France, everywhere. Marinetti have a, a strong influence on the culture around Europe. So, the poetry, we have uh, different kinds of rules for the poetry, the, the painting, and even the sculpture. And the most important thing is the architecture. I want to show you this building that was uh, drawn by uh, Sant'Elia in 1914, and it looks like uh, a building of yesterday, contemporary. Uh, there are the elevator, uh, there are uh, scale mobili, I don't know how to translate, uh, maybe tapis roulant in French, but I don't know how to translate in, uh, in English, and uh, the first psychedelic uh, you see that uh, the psychedelic um, uh, vortice, uh, vortice or uh, the thing that was right, uh, was uh, invented by Trampolini. So there was a great noise in, in, the, in the whole world. Of course, um, the Futurist was not alone. Uh, for example, we, in this period, start the, the, um, the fantascienza. So they start to, to, to think about uh, what means 2000. What happened? What will happen in the 2000s? And so, uh, even in Italy, you see that uh, thousand kilometer to the minutes, uh, or we how we will live in the 2000s. Or, for example, uh, Marinetti think uh, about uh, the first uh, telephone, mobile telephone. You see that picture is quite funny. There is uh, is not a crown. It's an antenna. It's an antenna. Uh, there is uh, this uh, beautiful car, futurist car, and uh, the plane. Yes, yeah, yeah. The, the speed was a religion. People love the, the engine. Start to, to, they want to drive a car. They want to drive um, a higher plane because in that period, start uh, the Bright Brothers makes the first airplane. So the futurists talk about even about robots. Uh, so they they imagine the future, the shi the shi fi uh, maybe in the future. So they saw the, the big brother, for example, uh, these two robots that uh, kissing themselves, and uh, they they look at they spy the, the humans. Uh, or the pero makes these two um, robots quite funny. You see the shoes uh, is absolutely <laughs> shoes are human. <laughs> the rest is. Uh, is is uh, is in this is uh, yeah is automa and you see that for example the battle droid of Star Wars is absolutely uh, very close to the Jacob Einstein torso in metallo. Uh, I am sure that uh, George Lucas was inspired by the the Jacob Einstein sculpture to make the battle droid, and you see the pilota stratosferico or Renato Di Bosso uh, is quite the same to the sp Space Odyssey of uh, 2001. So they imagine to, to, to travel to the moon. There was the rocket that brings the humans on, on, on the moon. And uh, Philia, uh, a very important poet or futurist, say, I will invite you for the next year to a banquet on the moon where we will finally taste the food and know and uh, unpredictable drinks. So, what means that uh, futurists uh, imagine a, a new world, uh, imagine to drink something different, to, to, to have different kind of food, because they are bored to the Italian culture. For example, they declare the war to the spaghetti, to the pasta. <laughs> they say there was an old food. I don't want any more spaghetti. The way they wear a game changer. <laughs> yes. Of, uh, of the science, and they were changing the rules. Yeah, they changing the rules, they're and the they breaking the rules. And uh, you know, if you want to get upset at Italian, you have to talk about uh, spaghetti and pasta of the grandmother of the mom. Okay, or if you want to get the attention of an Italian, you have to talk about sex. <laughs> so the futurists touch this uh, this. Uh, so this, uh, this topic and they have the, the attention of the, uh, the most part of uh, the, the Italians. So, 
The revolution starts in 1930. You see this beautiful painting of the Pero that uh, is a squisito al self. Uh, it was made, uh, it was a sort of advertise of uh, Bitter Campari. Uh, there was this drown about uh, food, like uh, this is spinach, zigzag spinach. And uh, it's uh, uh, puree di patate, so puree, uh, spin spinach, and meatballs. The real uh, uh, I, I don't want to say that it's, uh, they provoke uh, a lot. You think that Italians are very religious. Giovanni Sartori was uh, a uh, Torinese architect. And he said, if I build a church, so in one side you can drink, in the other side you can pray. And uh, it's absolutely uh, it, it's an interesting solution. Successful. Successful, because what's happened? If you, you can't drink a lot if God is looking at you. <laughs> and in the same way, the priest can earn some money to, to give to the poor people. So it was an interesting solution. Unfortunately, the Vaticano said, no, uh, we can't build a, a church where you can drink. They still don't agree. <laughs> yeah, yes, absolutely not. Yeah. Uh, the Manifesto of Futurist Cuisine is published in December in 1930 on the Gazzetta del Popolo in Torino. Why Torino? Because the Risorgimento start in Torino, so the Risorgimento of our culture start in Torino, and even the Risorgimento, the Renaissance of our cuisine, of our the recipe, the typical recipe of, the, of Torino, sorry, of Italy, have to start from Turin. So you see Marinetti that is seated on the table with Filia and with some waiter that uh, they, they're talking about the future of the Italian cuisine. Then in March 1931, there was uh, uh, open, the great opening of the Taverna of uh, Santo Palato. Unfortunately, this restaurant lasts only six months because the futurists are too much revolution. Uh, the problem was that the Italian uh, guys uh, still prefer to eat spaghetti, to eat pasta, to eat proper food. Actually, it was too early. It was too early. Uh, so we are not ready to accept uh, this kind of uh, very provocative, uh, provocative uh, cuisine. So unfortunately, after six months, this beautiful restaurant was all made with steel, no wood, absolutely, only steel and mirror. In uh, 1932, was printed the, the book uh, La Cucina Futurista, and for that reason, the book is yellow, because it is uh, a tribute to, to the Cucina Futurista of uh, Filippo Tommaso Marinetti and Filia. And here, uh, the most part of the recipe that I do when I was a bartender, and I, I started to make in my bar, and the people was quite, uh, you know, stunned about, about uh, the, this kind of recipe because you will see that I you can put the cheese, chocolate, uh, and chovies in the drinks. So what's happened before of the futurism? The Italian mixology. So you know for sure Americano, I think that uh, you, you serve Americano, you know the recipe of Americano, you know Negroni recipe, maybe Torino Milano. So, but the most part of the cocktails in that period was Anglo-Saxon mixology. So we have the sour, we have the feet, uh, we have the, the, the tongue, a sort of uh, um, cobbler and other, other kind of cocktail that was absolutely international. In the bar, uh, People enjoy cocktail, but want to make even a poem. So in that period, start uh, the, the fashion of uh, trolley bar, home bars. So we, I, I find out this beautiful picture of Bar Elevet. So, and the, the first book is uh, Guida del Barman, was published, was written, sorry, by Perucho Mazzone and published in 1920s, full of recipe, but are all international. So, sour, Cobbler and feet and other things, the flip, blah, 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 blah. Okay. The fascism forbid the, the use of the English. So the first Italian books um, is printed in 1936, and the name is Thousand Misture. But if you look better to the cover, you will see cocktail. 
cocktail was a forbidden word by the uh, uh, sorry by the uh, censor censura yeah the censor uh, of, of fascism so this poor guy have to take all the books and reprint with censura why because paolo monelli write uh, this book barbaro dominio and there was a sort of process to 500 words for any word one of those was cocktail so he, he had to change uh, the the the, the color a new, name. a new name, yes, uh, yes, and futurists don't like Misture because it was too much, you know, uh, boring, yes, and they say poly bibite, and uh, so many drinks is the Greek. Gin and whiskey are the most common spirits, even uh, rum, it's uh, very successful, but you see that we are not able to write whiskey. <laughs> We say whiskey, I don't know how to, to pronounce. Uh, that is Luxardo that writes in, in the right way and uh, makes even gin and rum. They are uh, Tafia, Martinica, Jamaica, Kingston. But unfortunately, there isn't sugar cane in this rum. There was a sort of, uh, then the name was fantasy rum. So <laughs> that was made with uh, pure alcohol, spice and sugar, but no sugar cane at all, okay? Was the imitation? That's because of uh, Alta Key. I mean, we weren't allowed uh, even not only to use it, but uh, it was difficult to import. Yes, it was, so, was forbidden import. It was a kind of homemade. Yes, uh, yes. Homemade yes. From, uh, yes. Uh, the way we could do it at that time. Yes, yeah, sometimes there was an agrappa plus cinnamon, cloves, uh, dry figs, uh, almonds, uh, and, and, and uh, molasses, molasses uh, to color into the form. For example, even some name of uh, liquor changed. For example, triple sec became triple secco, apricot brandy became uh, liquore della lupa, and uh, even the cognac uh, was forbidden. We can use uh, cognac anymore. So sometimes we use cognac Italia or Arzente. Arzente is the mix of Arzillo and Acquardente. Uh, so it was uh, the poet D'Annunzio that uh, said that. Uh, Arzente, la denominazione italiana del cognac. So it's uh, the, the name suggested by the poet uh, Arzente, but no one knew. Uh, so ended the Second War, we start to ca call it brandy. Italian products even are developed to replace international spirits. For example, it's uh, very funny, you, you don't understand Italian, but for example, Monopol Martinazzi guarisce la nostalgia dei liquori stranieri. So he'll uh, healing, uh, the, if, you, if you feel sad, uh, you can't drink anymore Grand Marnier or you can't drink anymore cherry brandy, there is a uh, monopole Martinazzi that helps to you to, to, you know, to heal your soul, <laughs> yeah, the nostalgia of, uh, of this kind of liquor. So, the polybibite. Um, when I start to study the polybibite, it was quite difficult because no one of uh, the inventor was a bartender, so I was a bartender. Uh, the problem was that we, we speak different language. You see these pictures, there are no those. They are just uh, poor whiskey, poor strega, and poor whatever, but no those. So my work was to find out the right balance between uh, whiskey, between strega, between Campari, between vermouth, blah, blah, blah. Because, because polybibite, it was the only attempt to change the international mixology. It was um, ruled by the Anglo-Saxon. So for the first time, we have the art that uh, bring a new creative spirit uh, um, in the world of drinking, because it was a sort of uh, art, okay, in the glass. And uh, why? Because, uh, Marinetti say, eat with art to act with art. Because Ludwig Feuerbach say this. So the man think, dreams, act according what he drinks and eat. So if you want to be a futurist, you have to drink and eat as a futurist. So the revolution start and was uh, uh, the inventor of the polybibite was not a bartender. So Marinetti asked to his friend, please make a polybibita. So Barosi, Ernazza, 
Giacchino, Filia, start to study the recipe of the polybibite, but they are no bartenders. So there was absolutely, the match was absolutely strange. And uh, we will see after. Another problem, the fascist regime say that the, the, the cocktail was forbidden because it's English culture. But futurists say, no, we don't accept this because we accept the superiority of cocktails because the cocktail is fantasy. It's made by a man who think and create something that doesn't exist before. So it's a temporary installation. So they say, okay, cocktail is uh, foreigner. Cocktail is not our culture, but it's so splendid that we like so much. We need just to change some rules. And what's happened? They say, that, for example, the, the cocktail have to be a 30, 60 uh, uh, grade experience for the drinkers. So, for example, Marinetti and Munari talk for the first time about tactilism. I do this, uh, I make uh, during uh, my, uh, when, I, when I make the Serate Futuriste, is velvet, okay, and uh, carta vetro. I don't know how to translate, I, I forget completely, <laughs> okay? So it's very uh, hard, okay, and this is very smooth. So when you drink your cocktails, you can touch it and decide which one is the you prefer. So there was even uh, tactile boards. There was uh, cork, uh, there was uh, silk, uh, there was velvet, whatever. And you can touch while you are eating. Russolo made the internal rumori that combines noise and music. For an example, very simple example. I have a, a restaurant, seafood restaurant, and I can put on my restaurant the, the music, the, the sound of the wave uh, or, or the birds or whatever, just to, or for example, I can put my microphone while I'm frying, uh, for example, the fish, just to give uh, to my guests, uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna to serve fritto misto, and you heard, uh, the, in, in the, um, the, the frigere, frying, the fishing, the fish. In a way, the approach was really good in this episode. I mean, it's not only what you drink, it's what you touch, it's what you see. Yes. Uh, and all together make the final, uh, the final effect of uh, yes. the polybibita. It's absolutely contemporary. For an example, uh, when you serve your cocktails, you can, for instance, the perfume that was, uh, you see the pictures, there is the waiter, they have this kind of uh, perfume, okay, and you can put under the nose or on the back, okay, of the, uh, on the neck of, uh, of uh, the, the, the guest, and the profumo or the perfume could be the same of the food of the cocktail. For example, if I serve a strawberry cocktail, I can put the aroma of the strawberries, or maybe I can put a lavender or something completely different. The other important thing is uh, the light. So uh, the match with the light is very important. Chromotherapy, promo, crime, chromotherapy. For example, if you serve something that you need to concentrate, you have green light or blue light. If you need to be excited, uh, you have the red light or orange light. So during the futurist uh, dinner, there was different uh, kind of uh, light that uh, switch on and switch off. So the classification of polybibite. So we are gonna to understand why futurists make this revolution in the, what way they do the revolution. So for example, the futurista polybibite per mangiare. So it's a sort of uh, pre-dinner, okay? Today we say pre-dinner, so to eat. Jostrad alcohol, it's uh, very interesting cocktails and you have to think to the decoration of the past. If you look at the um, book, 
the cotton book of 1920, 1930, you will see orange zest, lemon zest, very boring, okay, decoration, sometimes olives, okay? Futurists put cheese and chocolate in, 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 the, in the cocktails. Or for example, Grandi Acque, you have uh, anchovy, okay, in the cocktail to give salty sensation that match perfectly with grappa and gin. For example, another important experiment, they make avambera. Avambera, we talk a lot about side. You no, know? side is uh, the external decoration. And there are many bars that uh, put food, the, they talk about cocktail match uh, with the food uh, and the things. In 1932, Cinzio Barosi make the first match between cocktails and food. So, the cocktail was made with brandy, vermouth, and liquor estrega, but outside of the, of the glass, there was banana, almonds, coffee beans, tomatoes, and parmigiano. So, who drinks have to decide which one was the perfect match. So, one sip of cocktails and a coffee beans, then another sip of cocktails and a slice of banana, one drink and again the tomatoes. At the end, you have to decide which was the perfect match between the drinks and the food. Polybibite inventina es nebbianti, to develop ideas and free to be free from moral. Freud is in that period and the, 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 the futurists want to be free. So they have a very strong drinks in alcohol and uh, a lot of drinks with wormwood. I suggest another two drinks because I, I like very much Inventina because Inventina is the first drinks in the world, I think, that change color and flavor because they have six cubes of frozen red orange juice, red blood uh, orange. What's happened? The ice cube melt and change color to the cocktails and flavor. So it's like to be at the cinema, okay? The, the cocktail is moving, it's changing in, in your, in, uh, sorry? Never the same. Never the same, every second change a bit. And I think it's a very interesting solution uh, this kind of the inventina. And decisione is a big decision. Uh, the name the decisione means big decision. And it was quite strong cocktails uh, because there is uh, Barolo and Jamaica rum. So we are going to, to, to make uh, in a couple of minutes. Polybibite guerra in letto. They are very interesting cocktails because uh, futurists wrote the manifesto of luxury. Uh, they are in that period start. Uh, for example, burlesque. Uh, there was uh, the first, uh, um, you know, um, video uh, cinema about sex. So futurist was uh, they 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 used uh, this. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say arma uh, to uh, this tool. Okay, to to you know to to get the attention of Italian making this cocktail. Look. <laughs> This is the regeneratore, regenerator. So egg yolk, fertilizer. Uh, it's because egg yolk, so it's, it's a zabaglione. So zabaglione made with sugar, egg yolk, and uh, a bit of uh, moscato. And this banana was, of course, very funny because uh, you, can, uh, you can play a lot. Uh, you know, you can joke, you can, uh, you can uh, have uh, fun with your friends. What, do, what does the futurism mean today? So today, of course, uh, uh, the day are changing, the, 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 the present is changing. So it's, uh, I don't want to say that it's pointless to make polybibite today, but I think, I hope that the polybibite inspire a new Italian mixology, so a neo-futurist mixology. So what, are, what I would like is that the bartenders study deeper Italian products. So in the past, there was the embargo. So the bartenders have to use only Italian products. Today, I want, I want that is a precise choice. So to celebrate the Italian excellence. So 
you have to study, for example, there are beautiful strawberries, there are you know, apple, there are a lot of interesting fruits. So you can make cocktail using uh, this product. Even in your country, you can be Italian futurist or futurist from Australia or from America, but using the product of your, of your, uh, of, uh, your country. A cocktail list that have to be proportional with the Italian products and uh, foreign products. I, I don't want to say that champagne, you don't have to have champagne. Of course, you have to use champagne or cognac, but please start to use even Italian vermouth, strega, Italian liquor to make Italian cocktails. So, Italian futurist mixology have to be a proponent of Italianness. It's very important that uh, the next uh, in the next week when you start again to work to your bar, think to the futurist mixology and to be inspired by this interesting uh, movement. So I'm going to fix uh, the three cocktails uh, before the the, the, the Q and A questions. So we start to make avanvera. Avanvera is uh, very, maybe the most important uh, polybibiter because, uh, as I told you, there is uh, the. Dove la pinta? Dove la pinta? L'ho guardato due secondi fa. Era era dentro. Cosa credo? Just a second. We have uh, a problem. I can I can start with the slides <laughs> in that way. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, I use the ice cube. Uh, you have to think that in 1925, 1930, the ice is very expensive, absolutely expensive. So today, the ice uh, will fill up all the glass with ice. In the past, maybe it was uh, quite less. So we start to, to pour vermouth. Another important thing, uh, when you make uh, futurist uh, polybibita, you should not use uh, this uh, or this, uh, because uh, what happened? You have to work uh, with uh, free wrist, uh, we say, free wrist. What means uh, that I know exactly the recipe, so I know exactly the quantity, the dose of uh, brandy, of vermouth, of strega, but if I pour in free wrist, I can make a little mistake. Not a huge mistake, okay? But little mistake. That means that if I pour 0 0.1, 0 0.2 different between the, the cocktails, the polylimiter, every cocktail is different. You are doing a masterpiece? Yes, it's a masterpiece, a unique masterpiece every time. Every cocktail is different. So every cocktail is just the same because, of course, uh, my error don't have to be 2CL, more or less, just uh, zero points, okay? So at the end, every polybibita should be different. What are you doing here? Yes, it's a bambera. So now we start with the ex external decoration. So banana is sweet, smooth. I can put even some in the cocktail, some slice in the cocktail. It's like uh, cucumber. Yeah, give the freshness to the cocktail. Then I can use, uh, I can put some coffee powder or coffee beans, it's up to you. Then uh, you can, uh, you have to put some almonds. So again, sweetness, oily, and then tomatoes. So acidity and sweetness, anchovy, salt, okay, and parmesan. Again, is uh, yeah, yeah, fat and salty. So remember, every time you get a sip of polybibita. Okay, so a sip of polybibita and the almonds, a sip of polybibita and the tomatoes, a sip of polybibita and chovis and uh, in that way. At the end, uh, you, you talk with your friends and decide which one 
is the perfect match. And actually, every single piece of side represents a, a, a souvenir of the, of the past, because yes. some of these are colonial. I mean, yeah. the banana, the and, coffee, yes. and colonial. the album. This Mind is the Mediterranean, so the empire, the way. Yes, and this is anchovy, so Mediterranean seaside, the sea. Parmesan is our country, like tomatoes. Yes. Okay, so uh, can you? Can have it. Thank you. Uh, the other one is uh, Giostra d'Alcol. Giostra d'Alcol is. Uh, I think that is the only one cocktails made with a red wine. So there is a Barbera, okay? The Barbera is uh, here, okay? So we have Barbera, a red wine. Then uh, we have uh, a touch of uh, Campari to give some bitterness. And then we have uh, Cedrata. I don't know if you can find uh, Cedrata in uh, your country. Uh, normally Cedrata you can uh, use if you want uh, Sprite, for example, okay? And then inside uh, you have to put uh, a chocolate cube and uh, a cheese cube okay so what's happened you have uh, to start the cheese so you have the cheese and uh, your your mouth is start to be salty and fat then you have the polybibita when you run out the polybibita when you finish the polybibita you have the chocolate cube and it's a very interesting match because the bitterness the wine is bitter thanks to the Campari and help to you um, to, to have the, the chocolate at the end, okay? The last one is uh, Decisone. So Decisone, if you see the, the recipe, the recipe was made uh, with, uh, uh, okay, we are here, Vino Chinato and Barolo. Okay, so two products. But today we have Barolo Chinato. So Barolo Chinato link the Chinina, the Chinna and the, the wine, okay, together. So the Barolo Chinato, so 10 years Barolo plus Cinchona Bark. So if you want to make the decisione, you can pour the Barolo Chinato, okay, then you fortify the, today is uh, pure sugar cane. <laughs> I'll tell you rum. Yes, as I told you before, it, it was a, a fantasy rum, maybe, you know, but only 15, 20%, 20%. And, yes, today it's absolutely rum, okay? And then tangerine juice, okay? Tangerine juice. Uh, if you can find tangerine juice in your country, you can use even a distilled, for example, macerated uh, peel yellow liquor of mandarin, okay? So you can serve in that way. So uh, you see that, layers of color. Yeah, yes, layer of color. So the two different kinds of color or so the, the, the clients have to steer and this is uh, the color, okay? So, and you can make even uh, with ice or you can serve even hot. That is, is a polybibita that you can serve in a different way. So during the winter, you can warm the Barolo Chinato and add the juice of man, or tangeri or you can add with ice cube. Today is very, very hot day in Torino, so I prefer to serve with, uh, with the ice cube, okay? So, salute. Sheen. Actually, we, we are a mountain region, so Barolo Chinato is, is incredibly uh, suitable also to be warm in the season. And, uh, and it's interesting that discover this uh, so many years ago. We are talking about uh, recipe and ideas that came out 80 years ago. 
Yes. And are still today so compact. Um, I would it's say so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, but it's so, so nice because you know the the, the ram gives smooth uh, this aroma match perfectly with the Barolo Kinato. And actually, this was one of the authentic cocktails. Uh, uh, yes, 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 yes. Was created by Marinetti. Yeah. Imagine what the pedigree you have. I mean, it's a, it's a, historically it's as important as the growth. You have a name of the one who invented it. It was very precise, culturally perfect for that time, and yes. still today. Yes. Quite interesting. I mean, yes. these are monuments. These are not just uh, exercises. So yep. uh, we still are so surprised to see how a poet could be so precise and, yeah. and bring us through the years. But uh, Marinetti traveled a lot. Marinetti was, uh, the, the, the name was Marinetti was ca caffeine of Europe. So he, he traveled all around Europe and he was, he was a passionate of bar, of Dolce Vita, you know, loves the bar, loves the... It's mm. funny to say, the same for, for the Count uh, Camillo. Yes. Uh, love Camillo de Cologne. Absolutely. So he knows exactly. Marinetti don't drink too much because we know that Marinetti was not so passionate about drinking too much. He loves coffee, he loves to smoke, but he don't love the cocktail too much. But for sure, he was a great observer and he knows exactly how to make the cocktail because the most part of the Marinetti cocktail are perfect. Even Tina, uh, um, La Decisione, and even Filia uh, and Prampolini. There are other, other polybibita that I make a, a big effort to find the, the perfect balance between uh, the, 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 the spirits and the liquor and, and, the, and the juice, because maybe they are just to, to make uh, for, for play. But anyway, um, what we want to say is that the futurism is not left there, it's a work in progress. So what we would uh, recommend today is to experiment and using the same um, philosophy and recommendation yes. of that time, which uh, I'd like to summarize. So, uh, and we'll ask you to do it, because now we have a, a supervisor competition, but in a way, yes. uh, to summarize, to be a, a futurist uh, polybibite, uh, you need to be dynamic. So there must be movement in, uh, in uh, dynamics in, yeah. uh, in the cocktail. We, we want it to be multisensory. So uh, use the light if it helps to, to change the perception. Use the sound if you believe it's recommended. Recommended to go with the taste. Uh, be plastic. And yeah, plastic or light. Like, so a cocktail is always 3D. Uh, style. style. Yeah. Smell, light, spray around, anything that would improve the final effect. It's not on a cocktail, it's a masterpiece, it's an experience. By using this, Papa trying yourself. So we are launching today uh, the research of the new Michelatore record national, which is the best uh, uh, national histologist. Yeah. And we've been doing this for, for a while, actually. There has been uh, a few competitions, uh, which have been very funny uh, and very interesting yeah. in the past. If you go on uh, michelazionefuturista.com or cocky.com, uh, uh, you will find it through the cocky. You will find the uh, films. We have yeah. maybe a little. Uh, yes, we have a minutes. short. A short uh, Showing what yeah. we did the last time. This was uh, the final at the Museo dell'Arte, the car museum in, in Torino. Torino. Spectacular, by the way, if you come to Torino. In uh, 2018. And uh, we had like 700 people. We opened 10 different bars in Best uh, uh, Arm and King. And uh, we had just a little flash and how funny it was. Um, yeah. So you can go, then we'll be back. Okay.
2020s is that it's kind of difficult to be more than three people all together. And uh, so we want to see if, uh, at least a digital form. And so we ask you to send us uh, your, your film, like a three minute. You can do it with, uh, with a telephone. Uh, yeah. But try to follow the rules. And, yes, uh, there are the, the slides that the show. So we okay. will have, uh, uh, again, all the rules okay. uh, here. So uh, once you send uh, us uh, all uh, the film, we'll do a selection for, for the one that uh, has been, of course, uh, following the rules. And after that, you will vote. So uh, it's quite interesting. It will be very interactive. Actually, the film can be either in Italian or in English. So no, uh, no more alt and key. So you're welcome to do it in English, in French, whatever. Chinese, <laughs> Chinese. Uh, Russian. I mean, we're okay. quite open. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we like uh, the, you know, the film, the, the creation. Okay, at the end. Okay, so, the ensemble. And after that, you will see all the all the three minute film uh, on the coffee.com, and uh, you may you may digitally like in the. Uh, and we'll see, we'll see the winner is. Uh, so they will be all together in Italian, but them in Italy, and international, but uh, also around the world. Actually, this is where, where Coq is. I mean, yes, this is the, the timing. It's a small, small company, it's really worthwhile. And, um, and the final will be in July, so you have uh, time enough to do it. But uh, try to, to make your exercise. For sure, you will have fun. Um, the best one. The one uh, who people like more will win uh, the uh, what we call the Babacho, uh, which is not it's a, a puppet. It's a puppet. It's not a doll. Uh, actually, it's a real sculpture uh, in a number of yes. editions made by a famous yes. uh, sculpture. It's a sponge. It's a sort of sponge. And, um, and it's a kind of Value, yes, right. absolutely. Rare, yeah. you get it if you are only ten, there. only ten pieces, ten pieces in uh, pieces in the world. Only, yeah, ten. only ten pieces, and the three have been already okay. done. Yeah. The first the three, Michel Latore, and one, one to my house. And one, of course, <laughs> the guru of all the, the Michel Latore, the mixer, uh, for first, and um, and we'd be glad to to go on and This is good in such a difficult time, but also to be a little optimistic and, and happy because this is also what we sell. We sell a positive vibration uh, and to do this you need to have a good product. In this case it's very specific, we ask you to be Italian because it's such a cool you know, yes. story. Um, so follow the rule and send us your three minutes uh, stories. We'll have fun at least. Um, what else? The book uh, also is available. Yes, uh, it's available. It's not that everywhere available, it's a limited edition. Yes. We have a few copies on, uh, in English in yes. England at uh, the Whiskey Exchange, the e-commerce of the Whiskey Exchange. There is uh, the, the, the slide with the, with the email that you have to the way, yeah. you just pop us a line at the news uh, at uh, coffee.com and uh, Mariana will tell you how to. Okay. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So if you have any questions, we are ready to, to answer if you have questions. If uh, anyone has a difficult question, maybe we, uh, we, can, uh, we can try to answer. <laughs> they like my waistcoat. Where does the food you get is waistcoat? That's a good <laughs> question. Uh, this is... Uh, um, it's, it's printed by a guy of Torino. That uh, is this is my my um, gilet. I don't know uh, gilet. gilet. Okay, that I was I was using when I was uh, a waiter, a sommelier. Uh, when I finished to work as a sommelier, I decided to because I want to remind my my origin. So I, I print this. Is the the name was the snake and was uh, drowned by Marinetti. At home, if you see the, the, um, the video, I have another one with the fish and was um, made by De Pero. Fortunato so De Pero. Yeah. And our original is, is original uh, 
uh, is not original, of course, because it costs uh, 5,000 uh, euros. But the, 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 the drown, the, the, the design is original. But the original one from the Prio and Marinetti, which were shown at the Modern Art Museum in, in New York. I think so it's, pri it's priceless. priceless. Uh, it's, I don't know, at least one million uh, dollar. Yeah, dollar yeah. Each. So these are real uh, masterpieces. Uh, but again, do, do it. Uh, yes, if you want, uh, you, you can go. There is on the internet. There is the pero, the snake, the pero, the fish, the pero, um, and you can, you can. There is even the fire uh, for Gile. Uh, I remember even the fire, and you can, uh, if you have a, a, a friend who print, you can, you can do. On your uh, there's own. another interesting question, which is, uh, what is the strangest cocktail you saw in your? Uh, 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 just, uh, um, when we made the competition, uh, there are a lot of uh, different kind of uh, of cocktails. Uh, more than than strange, I, I I like a lot the presentation, and I remember that a guy make uh, make a, a airplane using the Campari soda bottle, and uh, you remember Roberto in Rome. But he put the music, uh, sorry, the, the sound of the engine of the air, airplane and it was going all, all the bar, making like a child. And at the end, serve the cocktail in the glass. Actually, yeah, I, it's I also like to mention this one, which is called the Salto in Carne, which I can't translate. Uh, but the interesting story is that this is uh, poison. So, uh, <laughs> We publish the photo, but we do not give the recipe because uh, the extra it was, recipe. It was a it was a, a poison, and we recommend not to do it. I think that this is the winner of the strangest. Yeah. Photo. But again, we talk about the futurist, uh, so it needs to be a uh, little uh, weird. Um, yeah, we we can have this. Uh, uh, Recorded someplace, you just uh, follow the, the, the Facebook of, uh, of Koki. Um, what's the best red wine to use in bitter cocktails? Generic or best? We have one specific. Yeah, uh, Marinetti and, uh, and uh, friends say Barbera uh, because there, if, you, if you get the book, uh, there was an, an historical uh, reason. That uh, was because uh, the, Piedmont, the Piedmontese wine, uh, the regime say that the Piedmontese wine have to be an example for all Italy. I so they start to use. But then it's interesting because, uh, being, uh, uh, because of its acidity. Yeah, and not tannin, not, not tannin, not tannin. Not tannin. Not tannin. Not tannin. Uh, wine in a cocktail. But mm, I would say not being a bartender or, or a futurist in the bar. I would yeah, say I, that uh, there are so many flavors of wine. It is a, like a, a Pantone uh, uh, range. So you will find exactly the, the flavor, the character you want, uh, just tasting several ones. My uh, suggestion several. is uh, not to use uh, a, a lot of tannin because with the bitterness, uh, for example, Cinchona bark, gentian roots, or other bitterness, uh, is, uh, there are tannin, okay? Especially in the bark and in the, in the roots. So it's better not to use uh, a, 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 a red wine with tannin. It's better and a good acidity, of course. So one question about uh, uh, Vermouth. Uh, yeah. Why has been used for such a long time? And why only these days it's very popular all over the world? Well, wow. I should answer to this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wrote a book about the so we, we... <laughs> So, you the book and I'm the president of the Institute of the uh, It would be another seminar. Yeah, we need uh, another seminar. Uh, it has been used because it was uh, good, important, and it represented a great category, characteristic that uh, makes a big part of uh, the cocktail history. But I would say again, why to use it today? I would say because it's good. It's very simple. Of course, I have a lot of stories about this, but uh, it's worth it to use again and explore the, the, the spread of the, uh, of the type of you know, flavors, the characteristic, and, and even more for, for me is that now we even have a, a, a load to protect them, the Torino. So if you use the Torino, 
for sure, you will also have a guarantee that you're using uh, a certified. So I think the shortest way we could we could say. Yeah. Uh, and of course, I'm, I'm reading uh, friends' uh, greetings from Costa Rica to Ukraine, Greece. Uh, Georgia, TB. Wow. Uh, it's really a lot. Also, um, we I, are I, 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 I want to. I, I, I was studying yesterday about the the, the wine from. Uh, from Georgia because I'm it's very sure, interesting. Yes, yes. They, they, they yeah. say they yeah. but yeah. even in Ireland they probably invented the beer. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, a, a big hug to all of you. I know that you are ready to start again as we are. Actually, we have we have been quite in quarantine all together here in Piedmont, uh, but we are resilient as you are because we are a category that uh, uh, doesn't. Uh, uh, I mean, we really come back. Uh, so yeah, and, and, and we really need you all. Uh, so so thank you for following us. Uh, what else? Uh, I think we did Malta quite well. <laughs> okay. Ciao, Malta. <laughs> and um, anything we are here, uh, Fulvio uh, also is ready to, to as soon he can fly to, uh, travel again. We'll do more and more seminar. Not only yes. Vermont, he is ready to to play. Uh, to the grandpa, etc. Et um, and us too. So, all um, Koki is also a network of friends, a network of uh, distributors, importers. We really are in the same boat, in a way. Uh, we need you to be there, we want to deliver, and to have the uh, all of you. So, thank you really for coming. I will say thank you also to our Koki boys today. Today, we have, we have Francesco. The Michel Atos uh, uh, t shirt come out. And, and of course, Francesca. If they are not Francesco, Francesco, we go on. Francesca, she's the director. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and of course, uh, uh, Matteo, the, 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 our uh, <coughs> director of uh, logistics here. Yeah. So, um, thank you. Uh, uh, Hi to all of you. Ciao. See you there. Ciao, ciao. Place, as soon as you can. Ciao. Ciao.